A musical scale is a series of musical notes in order. I'm showing octave 4 and octave 5 of the Western chromatic scale. And in this scale, we begin from C and go all the way up to the next C in uh, the next octave. Each of these notes has a frequency associated with it. So if I select G in the fourth octave, I find that it has a frequency of 392 hertz. That means that when this note plays, it will uh, cause the speaker of the computer to vibrate at a rate of 392 times per second. Hertz means times per second, how many times the cone of the computer speaker moves back and forth in one second. If I go to a higher note, let's say the next G, I find that it is uh, double the first G, so this has a higher note. And uh, in between, uh, each note is a little higher in terms of frequency than the one before. One characteristic of notes that sound good together is that they have a certain ratio. So I'm going to select G and then I'm going to select D. And in this case, G, um, G has a uh, frequency of 392 hertz. If I divide that into the frequency of the second note, D in this case, I get 1.49, which is approximately a ratio of 3 to 2. On the, and I can play it and uh, hear what it sounds like. I can play it one after the other, or I can play the two notes together. Now, if I select a different note, I'll get a different ratio. In this case, I'm dividing 392 into 554, and that winds up being approximately a ratio of, of uh, 1.41, which is 45 to 32. If I play those notes together, they don't sound quite as good as the G followed by D. And there's a reason. Um, the reason is that this ratio of G to D is a ratio of 3 to 2. Both the numerator and the denominator are whole, whole numbers, single digit whole numbers. And um, it's a very low whole number ratio. On the other hand, if I select these two notes, we wind up with 45 to 32. That definitely is not a low whole number ratio. And therefore, it doesn't sound as good. This is something that was discovered in the time of Pythagoras, uh, uh, ancient musicians and scientists and mathematicians had worked this out. However, perceptually no one knows why a note that is a low whole number ratio sounds better in terms of our perceptual system. Perceptual system. It just does. Now, the Western chromatic scale is one of hundreds and hundreds of scales that have been developed over the centuries. And even today, many other countries have a different number of notes in their scale and their space differently. It turns out that one characteristic of the Western chromatic scale, which has been in use for about 200 years, is that it allows me to slide any two notes up or down the scale and get the same ratio. So even though now I'm going from E to B, I still have a 3 to 2 ratio. Or I can slide it up like this and go from B flat to F. And because as I slide it back and forth, it still has a whole number ratio, it still sounds just as good no matter where I slide it up or down the scale. On the other hand, if I select an interval of six semitones, that is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, then I don't have as uh, nice a sounding a ratio. So 
It turns out that the distance between any two nodes, which is uh, in this uh, example, this node explorer measured in semitones, will always be the same no matter where you slide it up and down the scale. Now this ratio of 25 to 24 sounds dissonant. Sometimes, perhaps in blues or jazz, you may want a dissonant note. And a, a musician may play that uh, on purpose because they like the gritty quality. However, from one note to the next, the ratio is always going to be 1.0595, no matter where I place it, if we're two, one note apart. There's a reason that uh, this distance between two notes is 1.0595. It doesn't sound remarkable, I mean, but if you multiply 1.0595 times itself, and then do that 11 more times, you'll wind up with the number two. So therefore, this number is the square root of two. And it turns out, if I want to have the ratio of each note be the same uh, for the next note, all the way up and down the scale, I need to divide it into 12 intervals that are the square root of two. And that, that is why it's divided in this way. That's why the uh, Western scale allows you to shift notes back and forth without doing uh, all kinds of recomputations. In many other scales, if you shift from one part of the scale to another, uh, it involves quite a bit of calculation because the distance in terms of ratio of one note to the next is not always the same. So that's, that's a, a benefit of the Western chromatic scale and perhaps one of the reasons it's been so popular for the last 200 years. So the point of this exercise is to identify pairs of notes, that is dyads, that sound uh, pleasing to you. If you like harmonious tones, you'll probably go for low whole number ratios. If you like dissonance, you'll go for higher ratios. But Note Explorer is designed to allow you to find pairs of notes that you like. So uh, we're going to, in uh, this module, explore the relationship of one note to the other in the musical scale using this tool.